In the red zone of the resurgent Phlegraean fields, Europe's most dangerous volcano, 2,000-year-old ruins are rising from the earth, pushed upward by hydrothermal forces. The waterline is receding at the docks as the ground rises. Thousands of earthquakes, including one that sent 1,500 people fleeing to makeshift shelters, are sending shockwaves of fear through coastal communities. Residents are packing emergency bags, bracing for more quakes, or worse, an eruption that some experts fear could be catastrophic. Nearly 80,000 people happily inhabit the Sulphuros caldera, playing soccer in the streets and cooking delicious ragas in apartments with glorious views of Capri and Ischia, the Emerald Islands across the Bay of Naples. In all, an estimated 485,000 people live in the designated danger zone of the smoke-belching giant that the ancient Romans said was the gateway to hell. The most pessimistic experts suggest it may be time to consider relocation, which presents residents with a stark choice, should they stay or should they go. The crisis is intensifying a debate in Italy's scientific community about the extent of the threat posed by the eight-mile-wide monster, pockmarked with more than two dozen craters and believed to have caused the most catastrophic eruption in prehistoric Europe. There is no indication of a sudden rise in magma that would signal an imminent eruption. Volcanic events, however, can be highly unpredictable, and the recent cycle of volcanic earthquakes along with measured ground rise of 2 cm per month is worrisome. An eruption could range from the kind of limited eruption that upended a sidewalk in Yellowstone National Park last month to something catastrophic. The fields, experts say, have the potential to wreak more havoc than Mount Vesuvius, some 25 miles away, did during its historic destruction of Pompeii in AD 79. A number of scientists have warned of the potential tipping point, but none has been more alarmist than Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo a senior researcher at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology who has been embroiled in a public spat with the agency he serves, arguing it has not taken the threat seriously enough. He describes a worst-case scenario in which deep fissures open in the earth, spewing mushroom clouds of toxic gas, superheated ash and pyroclastic material. At night, the emissions would be clouded by flashes of lightning. Coastlines would be blanketed in a deadly black veil. The resulting grayish-white ash and rock would blanket the land. Even a much smaller but still powerful eruption could destroy the entire metropolitan area of Naples, with its 3 million inhabitants. That pressure could explode like a bomb standing in the blazing sun and looking down on the huge crater lake formed during the last significant Phlegraean eruption in 1538. Some of his own superiors, as well as Pozzuoli mayor Luigi Manzoni, have dismissed the talk as scaremongering, arguing that there is no need to leave this sun-kissed land now. The dangers are serious but manageable. The threat of a major eruption is far away. A bigger threat, however, is a new wave of volcanic earthquakes. They believe that can be dealt with without the costly evacuations and building reinforcements that occurred in the 1980s, when the Phlegraean fields last rumbled. Meanwhile, the national government is sending conflicting signals. On the one hand, Rome last month imposed a temporary building ban, and a leading minister called it criminal that people were being allowed to settle in the shadow of such a threat. But Prime Minister Georgia Maloney also appears to be providing incentives to stay. She has caved to local politicians and championed a 1.2 billion euros redevelopment of the waterfront threatened by the volcano, 
including a new city park, land reclamation projects, housing and new infrastructure. The threat is always there in Pozwoli, Manzoni said. We have to learn to live with it.